Ubaidullah bin Mihsan al-Ansari radiyallahu anhu reported, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever begins the day feeling family security and good health and possessing provision for his day is as though he possessed the whole world, the Tamidhi. To have one day food and to enjoy peace and health is indeed a great blessing. It may be said that one has the same satisfaction which one can have on getting the whole world. And if one lacks peace and health, the treasures of the world will be of no use because the heaps of wealth cannot provide peace of mind to one, nor can it make one enjoy <coughs> sound health. The hadith also implies and advice to man that instead of running after wealth, he should endeavor to seek patience and com contentment, which alone can guarantee him peace and satisfaction. Otherwise, he is likely to stake everything on the pursuit of this mirage. Abdullah bin Amr bin al As radiyallahu anhuma reported the Messenger of Allah sallallahu yes. alayhi wa sallam said, Successful is the one who enters the fold of Islam and is provided with sustenance which is sufficient for his day's need, and Allah makes him content with what he has bestowed upon him. Muslim. The real success of a man will be measured by his being blessed with divine mercy and forgiveness in the hereafter, and this is contingent on Islam alone. If he lacks the wealth of Islam, all the worldly possession will not ensure his success in the next world. This hadith tells us that richness is not to be defined in terms of a lot of belongings and that the real richness is gauged by the contentment of the soul. Adala bin Ubaid al-Ansari radiallahu anhum reported, I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, Happiness is due to him who is guided to Islam and possesses provision that suffices him for his day and remains content. Tamidhi. The word Tuba, translated here as happiness, is, is given to Jannah. Some hadith say that it is the name of a heavenly tree as well. Lexakali, however, it means greeting and good tidings. The sense of this hadith is analogous to that of the previous one. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma reported the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to bed hungry for several successive nights, nor did his family have a thing for support for many consecutive nights and their bread was mostly of barley, a tumidhi. This hadith also displays the asceticism and economic scantiness of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his wife. Abdullah <coughs> bin Ubaid radiallahu anhu reported when the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam led Salah, some people would fall down from their standing posture out of extreme hunger. They were of the people of Asufa. The nomad Arabs would say that they were insane. After concluding Salah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would turn to them and say, if you were to know what is in store for you with Allah, the exalted, you would wish and augment your starvation with lack of provision. To me. The, the habit of maintaining self-respect in the period of studentship makes man self-resistant, self-respecting. 
patient and content throughout his life. The dignity of ulama lies in patience, contentment, and indifference, and not in wishing to drain their purses of others and asking them for alms. Baghdad bin Ma'di Karib radiyallahu anhu reported, I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, no man feels a container worse than his stomach. A few morsels that keep his back upright are sufficient for him. If he has to, then he should keep one third for food, one third for drink, and one third for his breathing, a tamili. This hadith dissuades us from overeating as this causes laziness and affects one's health. Abu Umama bin Salaba radiallahu anhu reported, the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned the life of the world before him. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, did you not hear? Did you not hear? Simplicity in life is part of faith. Simplicity is part of faith. Abu Dawood. This hadith invites our attention to a simple way of living. Ordinary dress and simple and non-rich food. And discourages us from habitual of an affected lifestyle. Use of costly dress delicious and rich food, and other dainties of life. The more a man shuns the trappings and accessories of life, the better engaged will he be in being ready for the hereafter. The increased degree of his involvement in worldly comforts and luxuries will keep de decreasing his concern for the accountability of future life. We may keep it in mind that simplicity does not mean escape from cleanliness because cleanliness is in itself have the faith. How can a believer ignore purity and cleanliness? Self explanatory. May Allah give us contentment and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make the hereafter our main concern and that we don't get beguiled with this temporary life. I mean, Subhanakallah, Mubahamdik, Nashadu Alla, Ilaha, Ilaha, Ant, Nasrak, Firaq, Natub, Ilaha, Zakallah. La Ilaha, 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 Il